Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody. Let me get a little chat back if everybody can hear me loud and clear. Good to see you. All right. Good morning to you, Chris, JJ, Mark, good to see you, Johnny, Philippe, good to see you all. Happy Friday, everybody. Less than one week before America's birthday. Big weekend starting next week, which um, I can tell you right now, it is going to be a very slow week going into the first week of July because it does end on a Tuesday. Uh, this is where things become very, very ugly when it comes to trading. And then also, you know, going into Friday of next week, I think it's going to be very, very slow. So people are going to make like these really long vacations. So we got today, we got to the, we got to early next week. So let's try to make the best of it and finish out the month really strong. Uh, first of all, let's get back, let's get right to it and talk about the CARA. Listen, you know, for all you out there, I tell you this all the time. What time do we start trading? A 30. Not 9, not 9.03, okay? Not, you know, we start at 8.30. Exactly, Chris. And if anyone was here and just got up a lousy 30 minutes earlier in the trading room, when we had the room opened, you would have got the CAR, you would have owned it, you would have saw the, the Fausto flag being built when it started at 8 o'clock this morning, you would have saw the program trading in, you would have got in at 8.30 at 21.80, uh, and look where it is right now, 23.25, and you know what I would say? You know what I say? Have a good weekend. You are done for the day, okay? That is why we make most of our money in the pre-market. Now, granted, it's, it was no level one stock, okay? Um, stock had a big spread. We all know that you have to buy unlimited orders trading in pre-market. But the CARA, that's what it's all about. You know, if you got in here a little bit earlier, you did well. Now, does it mean that it's over, it's done? No, listen, can the stock go where we saw resistance levels? You could see big resistance levels here on a long-term chart. It's going to probably test at 2360, you know. You know, can you still make money? Of course you could. You know, of course you could. Could this go to $25, $30? Of course you could. But that's not why we day trade. That's a swing trade attitude. Right now, we're just trying to make a day's pay. So we could have made our 50 cents right there. So C-A-R-A, it's going to go on the watch list. But honestly, there's no guarantee it's going to go higher. And number two... You know what? If you made your money, you're done for the day. You're finished. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Ken. And you know what? Ken, and, and you're here up early every morning, and you log in early. I see you in there, and you can see it right then and there, why we do so well. Um, and I keep pressuring it all the time. Log in early, log in early, log in early. All right? So now let's uh, – you can see the stock is making a big move. You know, is it too late? Listen. You know I don't like to do any pre-market trading um, around the 9, 9.15, you know, 9, you know, going into the 9.30 hours. A lot of it goes from 9.30, I mean from 8.30 to 9, maybe a little bit now. But overall, great call. I don't know if some of you still have it, but it, she still looks pretty damn strong. I mean, she looks great. So anyway, that one did make the, um, the watch list. Another stock that we saw that's doing pretty well, uh, very inexpensive, but it's kind of flat right here, is the AVEO. She's kind of flat in the pre-market. It's got great volume, 1.6 uh, million shares trade in pre-market. You know, she's very cheap. She's got a tight spread. She's got good um, good uh, tier sizes. So we could trade a few, uh, you know, multiple thousands of shares, depending on how much money you need to make a day. But that one did really well. You already heard the news, S uh, SNCR, buyout. So that is a complete scratch. IDRA, by the way, look at all these, every single one of them, what are our favorite? Pharmaceuticals, right? Every one of them are part of pharmaceuticals. It's amazing. That's, you know, people don't realize it, but they're like, aren't they so speculative? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They are speculative. That's why we trade them, because they're the ones only moving. Uh, but the IDRA, uh, you know, on a downtrend, up, up already, not really sold on that one, so that one's a scratch. Okay. Now, once we get below a 5%, Movement, we're pretty much done right there. We don't need to look anymore. All right, let's go hop over and look what's going on in the shipping stocks. What do you know? Look at Tops. Tops is is um, down 40%. <laughs> what? 
with all the splits and then seeing what's going on with dryers, I mean, well, I, I'm speechless, okay? I am not shocked. Look at dryers. Uh, with all the splits and everything, it's like it just ended up back where it was. And let me tell you, and I'm going to keep talking about this all the time because I, I, I honestly, I can't help myself because I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen so many splits and then just seeing it and just saying, I promise you I wouldn't talk about it tomorrow, you know, but yesterday was today, you know, tomorrow and, uh, and you're looking at it, it's like, my God, Fausto, you're right. It did that reverse stock split and you said it four or five times that it's the worst thing a company could do and look what happens. Thing gets destroyed. They're doing another 100 to 1 um, reverse split. Which one? What, dryers or tops? You know? It's just like, what's the company? Dryers? They're going to do 100 for one stock split? I don't know if that, you, uh, come on, you're pulling my leg. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. They're going to bring the stock up to uh, $100? Uh, I don't even know what the company's worth. I mean, it's got to be worth with all the reverse splits. I think some of us said it's worth, what, $20 million now? I mean, it's got to be a, you know, a buying opportunity. I mean, that's to me, that's like a company going out of, it's out of business. You know, with all the expenses, I mean, those ships cost you probably twenty million just to go around the around the around the earth, paying them fuel. Anyway, probably that's the only thing is probably keep them in a business business. Yeah, they're on the clearance sale. How about the going out of business sale? And they just bought ships too, right? Didn't they say they just bought some ships? They financed some ships. It makes no sense. Anyway, let's get back to what's what is moving and making money on it. But anyway, you know what? A good lesson learned. I just want to kind of point out the dryers is the reason why, you know, I am so against you know, a swing trade because you know how many people got caught holding that bag and are hoping to come back? And that should be a very good lesson learned that by being a good day trader, it will make you a better swing trader because when you see the running on the wall, there comes to a point where you might not like what you need to do and says like you, and say, I can't afford to take this loss. And then sure enough, and Ken, you, you were here for the last onsite. You know, look where it was back then and where it is now. And a lot of you witnessed um, v, um, VRX, you know, $280. I mean, they didn't do the reverse stock split, but look where it is. All right, anyway, going back and see what else is moving. Another little inexpensive stock, FOR. That one has a nice little push, nice little movement. It's a little bit of an uptrend. Um, not up as much as I like at 4.5, but you know what? We, we need, we need, we're going to probably get a little desperate here because we don't have a really big list. Um, AK Steel. That one's looking pretty nice. AKS. It's got up 4%. By the way, you notice we haven't talked about uh, U.S. Steel lately? You know? What's that doing? Right? We haven't talked about that stock in a while, right? I don't know. Did, did, um, but it is number five biggest percentage gainer. So it looks like all the steel stocks are moving today. So let's keep a close eye on that. And then obviously all the ETFs, they're in the big percentage gainers and losers. You know, obviously that's what controls the market. Uh... Bed Bath & Beyond taking a big hit, you know, $80 stock down to 30 I mean, honestly, they, you know, they keep giving that $20 coupon, you know, but it, 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 it costs, but it, but it's 50% more than Costco. I mean, you go in that store, it's like, it, it's a fortune, you know, beautiful store. I like window shopping, but, you know, I'm not shocked the stock is getting crushed anyway. But, um, but we have a pretty good list here, and let me tell you, congratulations on the CARA. You guys did great on it. And, and I hope everyone learned. Look, it went up to almost high as 24. But um, good, great lesson learned, logging in at 8.30, uh, seeing what, what it's like to be in a position, make your days pay, and move on. But if you didn't, you know, listen, we always find some new ones. So let's see what, what happens when it opens. We'll go out there and share it. Just to let you know, Josh is on vacation. Um, he'll be back on Wednesday. He's off today and on uh and on Monday, and obviously the fourth, you know, on Monday. Oh, actually, yeah, on Monday, I think, too, he's out. No, 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 no. The following week. He's, he'll be back here on Monday. But anyway, isn't that great? You could take off. You could enjoy yourself. You could trade. That's that's why we do this, okay? So um, so me and uh, Eric and John and the rest of the staff, they will be here to watch you guys back. And let's try to make money together. U.S. still raised buys from holding uh, from Deutsche, Deutsche Bank. Well, all right, we'll see how that works out. All right, uh, George, thanks for sharing that information, guys, everyone. I uh, hope everybody's been everybody enjoying the YouTube um, videos that we've been posting. Hope everybody's been enjoying them, those little tweez, uh, those five two-minute cl uh, clips that we're putting in. So hope you guys have been enjoying it. A couple before we go, let's look at a couple of stocks. AMD, one of you.
Uh, Anna says, uh, look at it. It's on a downtrend. Just listen. We made so much money with AMD. Just stay away from it right now. Let, let it, let the trend, let the smoke clear. Let it shake out all the, the weak sellers um, and then go from there. Uh, WIT, that one, I, I don't know why we're looking at it. It's not really doing anything. Completely dead. Would it do a reverse stock split? Two for one? I don't know what's going on with that one. All right, so we got our picks. I'll put them out there. And um, anything else new comes up, let's go out there and always remember, see something, say something, guys. Thanks, everyone. Happy trading. And if I don't see you this afternoon, enjoy your weekend.